Greetings fellow monster lovers. Welcome back once again to the Masked Fan Attic high above the beautiful horror hotel where it's very dusty and uh, cramped and dangerous but uh, we, we find a lot of cool old masks to talk about up here and yeah it's true I um, I do keep some zombie bite antidote up here I do have some it's true but uh, uh, listen let's just keep this between us okay if you need some zombie bite antidote feel free to uh, you know stop by and we'll, we'll fix you up with some but don't don't be irresponsible and tell everybody okay because I don't want the neighbors all coming around every time they get bitten by a zombie trying to bump some zombie bite antidote off you know this stuff's expensive you see so I don't want everybody to know I have it costs an arm and a leg and three teeth and part of a small intestine but anyway this week's mask is an oldie moldy from Don Post Studios known as can you guess no, no, it's called corpse. Of course, a corpse is a corpse. Of course, a, no, it's uh, it's the Don Post corpse. Now I see this guy every now and then turn up on eBay or someplace like that online, and people always seem to get the name wrong. He seems to uh, get called either Ghoul or Zombie or Eric or Phantom. I don't know why that is. People don't seem to remember the name with him, but it's simply corpse. That's all he is, is corpse. Now, unlike a lot of the uh, Don Post masks from back of the day, poor old sad and lonely corpse here did not enjoy the great popularity uh, that many of his peers experienced. He uh, was sculpted in 1979, and how do we know that? Because look what it says right on there, 1979, Don Post, or that might be an eight, might have been sculpted as early as 78 but anyway he didn't show up in the catalog until the uh, is that an 8 or a 9? Uh, I can't tell. Didn't show up in the catalog until the uh, 79 and 80 season and that was pretty much it for Corpse. He was only around during the 1979-1980 period and unlike many of the glow-in-the-dark masks that uh, came out in the line Don Post used to call glowing ghoulies, Corpse never made all those comebacks. Now, I just mentioned that he was part of the Glow in the Dark line. That's because he glowed in the dark. Now, a lot of the masks in the Glow and Ghoulies line were alternately available in regular paint versions. Uh, sometimes the masks would uh, first come out as Glow in the Dark masks and then would be reissued with just regular paint. And in that tradition, there was Elton Alien, who became Gillis. And there was the Glowing Nuclear Death, who became the non-glowing Overreactor. And then uh, the other way around uh, happened with uh, a few of the others. Like there was a glow-in-the-dark version of a generic Mr. Hyde that they called Frozen Ghost. And there was uh, a glow-in-the-dark, briefly, a glow-in-the-dark version of uh, Carlisle and Eric. And they just were still called Carlisle and Eric for some reason. But uh, Corpse here uh, was never offered in any other variant. He just always pretty much looked like this. The classic yellow-green glow-in-the-dark color with some black shading, black molded hair, and a little bit of red around the eye and lip and cheek areas. And that's about it for Corpse. Um, would have been fun to have painted him in another color. I wonder what he would look like, say blue or flesh tone or, or some such thing. Anyway, now to see what he looks like glowing in the dark through the magic of high-tech uh, black lightitude we're gonna see what he looks like glowing in the dark. We just turn on the black light for you here. See the 1979 Don Post Corpse. And then I will come around here and see if I can turn off the light that's here on the, uh, close to the camera. You ready? Here it goes. Look at that action. Wow! How cool is that? You gotta love that. Look at him glowing in the dark. You can see why some of us horror fans like this guy. He always kind of reminded me of the masks made for 13 Ghosts, the old, uh, the old movie. Obviously not talking about the good movie with Tony Shalhoub, I'm talking about the lousy one from 1960 that was like an episode of the worst 50s black and white sitcom you ever saw uh, if, they, if they had done a Halloween episode. That's what the original 13 Ghosts uh, seemed like to me and this guy looks like something that would have either been made for that film or to promote it. Kind of has an old-school vibe, don't you think? 
old ghoul vibe, maybe I should uh, call it. But anyway, Don Post Corpse, like I said, not around very long, kind of hard to find. But if you like the glow masks, um, I recommend you keep an eye out for one on eBay and the various online mask dealers. And you never know when might one might come your way. And, uh, well, I hope to see you up here in the attic again next time. Provided you don't fall and land on something sharp and split your skull in half this time.